This is off-road diesel fuel that we're filling up with here today. Off-road diesel fuel is colored a red or pinkish color and this uh, this coloring or dye will actually stain the interior parts of an engine so that if uh, someone was trying to run off-road fuel over the highway you are and they were checked about it uh, they could take some parts of the engine easy to get to and uh, find out if they had been running it because that part or those parts of the engine would be stained a, a reddish pinkish color. Off-road fuel doesn't have some of the taxes uh, in it that over the highway fuel does and therefore it is cheaper. Well hello everyone Larry back with you again and what we're working on is refueling all of our equipment. I am picking up diesel fuel at the present time headed over to get some gas for the lawnmowers and things and then we'll get those things fueled up and to just walk through a few more of the things that we do here at St. Nick's Farm so come on along and let's uh, get some fuel in the equipment. As I mentioned in this title, this is ethanol free gasoline. It is a little more expensive. I think I probably paid somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, $3 and about $3.49, close to $3 and a half a gallon for the ethanol free. I also mix in with this gasoline some of the uh, sea foam.
you will see me adding some of the sea foam to the gator fuel tank in a few minutes and also to the um, riding lawnmower, the zero turn, John Deere zero turn mower and also to the um, little trim mower that I'll be filling up a little bit later on in this video. I'm about to fill up uh, Fergus here, the, the uh, Mass Ferguson that I refer to as Fergus. You've seen Fergus in some of my previous videos. This is a 1993 Model 253 Massa Ferguson. It's a uh, two-wheel drive tractor, about uh, 50, 51 horsepower, I think, at PTO, no, 53 horsepower, I believe, at PTO, and about 51 horsepower at engine. It's been a great tractor. When I bought Little John, I had first uh, thought about trading Fergus in, but then uh, decided not to, and sure glad that I didn't. Folks, let me say that I really do appreciate you tuning in to St. Nick's Farms channel today. What I have been doing today on this video is picking up fuel and refueling those things that I expect to be working with over the next few days. Again, I want to really thank you for uh, tuning in to St. Nick's Farms channel today. I appreciate all of those of you who have already subscribed to the channel and we're getting new subscribers. My next goal is 200. Help me get to that if you will please. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. That's the way that you like what you see on the video. And then down in the comment section, if you will, please leave a comment. I enjoy hearing from folks, those that we have already seen that are subscribers from different parts of the country. I really do appreciate hearing from you and so if you will uh, be sure to leave a comment. And then last but certainly not least, be sure to share the video with a friend. What I want to talk about just real quick in conclusion is my new fuel can. Uh, I got this can specifically for the sawmill and I think I mentioned this can in a previous video. This is an old Eagle galvanized 
fuel can and I wouldn't take any, well, I can't say that I wouldn't take anything for it, but if somebody offered me a hundred dollar bill for this can today, I would not take it. It has just been a good can. I probably have had it for 20 years or more, and it's still a good can. Then last week, I found this can on Amazon. It is by Just Right, and I got it specifically for the sawmill. Now, it's got a uh, metal filling spout. This spout is controlled, the fuel flow through it is controlled by this, this lever here. So if you're holding it, you, let me turn it around so you can see it, you pull this, pull this lever up and that releases fuel to the, to the spout. So you can't, basically you can't spill it uh, until you do pull the lever up. And then right here, this is the way that you fill the can and it has a metal screen on the inside. This also is a, I think, a galvanized can and uh, just a real hefty built fuel can. And as I said before, I got this one specifically for fuel for the sawmill, for the wood miser sawmill. So uh, two, two fuel cans that I'm really uh, proud to have around here to farm. Well, we come to the end. Thank you so much. This is Larry. Jenny is in the house. If she was here, she would wave at you too. But for me, till next time, thank you so much. I'll see you. Bye-bye. I'm going to do like uh, some of the guys on some of the other YouTube channels in closing this one out. Let's see if we can do this. Bye-bye.